Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be talking to you about Arista maintenance mode. We're going to look at a few things. Firstly, we'll look at a simple definition of maintenance mode, and then we'll look at how maintenance mode works. We'll also look at some key terminology when it comes to understanding maintenance mode. The first are units. We'll look at user-defined and built-in units. We'll look at groups, which are user-defined or built-in groups. We'll also, we'll also look at profiles. We'll look at built-in profiles and user-defined profiles. We'll look at some stuff on rate monitoring. And then we'll look at some considerations if you're going to use maintenance mode in a multi-vendor environment. Now, in the next video, I'm going to talk to you about maintenance mode configuration. So we're going to actually see how we actually set up maintenance mode on the CLI. So first of all, what's maintenance mode? So maintenance mode is a feature on Arista switches that gives the network operator a way to drain traffic gracefully from the switch. Now, after you drain traffic, you could perform different maintenance tasks. You know, for example, you could replace the line card, you know, upgrade software on the switch, you know, change SFPs, change cabling, and so on and so forth, right? So you go perform intrusive maintenance, right? So it gives you a way to gracefully drain traffic and carry out maintenance. Now, traffic could be IP or layer 2. Now, it's important to understand that if you are using maintenance mode on a switch that has, or that's a part of an MLAC pair, the way you drain layer 2 traffic is not graceful, right? Because when you enable maintenance mode, any ports connected to downstream hosts, for example, in that layer two domain or downstream switches in the layer two domain will be shut down, right? And the switch will also be transitioned from primary to secondary. So because you're gonna be shutting down ports downstream to the layer two domain, it's not graceful if you have layer two on the switch as well, right? So, but if you run an environment where you have a layer three network and your layer two domain is constrained to, or your layer two broadcast domain is constrained to a single switch, then the maintenance mode works great, right? So in this topology you have up there with these blue, um, you know, boxes, let's say you want to carry out maintenance on the box on the top right. Now, what, when the switch is, gets configured with maintenance mode, that switch sets the G-shirt community on outbound prefixes, and then any switch connected to that particular switch will match the G-Shot community and set local preference of zero by default on Arista switches. Right, so we're gonna talk about multi-vendor in a different um, in a different um, slide, but in this scenario, we're assuming all switches here are, um, are um, Arista switches, right? So after a certain period of time, traffic will be drained from that link, and then you'll be able to carry maintenance um, on that link as you plan. Right, so I kind of talked about how maintenance mode worked in the previous slide, but first of all, it's mostly BGP based, right? It uses and honors the graceful shutdown community. So if you have a layer three network running BGP, you can use maintenance mode to um, drain traffic off a switch um, by setting the graceful shutdown community on the outbound prefixes and any devices connected to that switch or there's a BGP pair with that switch um, sets local preference of zero. Right, so traffic doesn't get sent to the switch that has maintenance mode configuration. Now you could also define, you know, custom route maps that also manipulate the SPAT prepend, for example. But the default route map you have on your Arista switch and matches the G Shot community and sets the local preference to zero. Now let's look at some terminology when it comes to understanding uh, maintenance mode. The first is units. So the way I like to think of units is it enables you to define which part of a switch to place in maintenance mode. Now, that part could be the entire switch or it could be a line card. Now, some of the built-in units you have are the system unit and your line card unit. So the system unit places the entire switch in maintenance mode. The line card places specific interfaces on that line card in maintenance mode. So it places the entire line card, I should say, in maintenance mode. However, you could define custom units right as a user that matches for example specific interfaces on your line card or that just matches specific bgp pair groups right so you could get more granular in terms of defining which part of the switch you want to place in maintenance mode 
the next is the groups so think about group as a kind of subset of a unit right so some built-in groups include all ethernet interfaces it also includes you know line card one line card two line card three for example or you could say all bgp neighbors in a specific vrf belong to a specific group you could also define user specific groups that contains you could also define i should say user defined groups that contain specific interface or specific bgp neighbors now the third terminology is what called profiles now profiles carry out specific action during maintenance right so if a switch is placed in maintenance mode you have certain profiles that can carry out a specific action the first is the interface profile right which is inbuilt right this is disabled by default but if you enable this what it does is it monitors the traffic rate on an interface and when the specific default packets per second is reached the interface is shut down the second BGP is the BGP profile. Now this is enabled by default and this is what I talked about earlier. It sets the G-Shot community on prefixes advertised and if a prefix has a G-Shot community, it sets the local preference to zero. Now the third one is the unit profile, which is also disabled by default. This simply places a device in maintenance mode for 300 seconds by default on boot. Now, with user-defined profiles, you could change your interface and your PGP profiles to reflect different values, right? So, for example, for your interface profiles, you could have more aggressive or less aggressive packets per second. Um, you could also have, you know, you know more specific PGP profiles um, other than default. And this could be applied to your interface groups and your PGP groups, respectively. Now, finally, let's look at some things to consider when you look when you are using maintenance mode in a multi-vendor environment now if you run all arista switches then shifting traffic with maintenance mode will work magically as the arista switches honor the gsos community with inbuilt system generated route maps so if a switch receives a gsos community it also set the local preference to zero now for non-arista devices you may need to configure those devices to match the g -Shot community and set the local preference to zero if they do not honor g -Shot community by default right so it's just something to think about if you're willing if you want to drain traffic on interfaces that connect to non-arista devices you may want to set those non-arista devices with route maps that carry out the specific action of matching g -Shot and setting the local preference to zero right so that's I would say enough theory to talk about when it comes to Arista maintenance mode. In the next video, we'll look at configuration, look at how to configure this and how to verify our configuration. I hope this video was useful for you. I'd like to thank you for listening and I'll talk to you in the next video.